Hello, fellow travelers, and welcome back to Our Bigs Adventure. Today, we're going to cook collard greens. A man stopped by Mr. Big's work this past week and was selling these collard greens. He got these three huge bunches of collard greens and all these cucumbers for five bucks. Can you believe that? I gotta get to work. It's always a good day when Mr. Biggs and I are in the kitchen together. I am getting the cucumbers through the mandolin and getting them ready to put in the canner. And Mr. Biggs is breaking down all of those collard greens. They were absolutely beautiful. They had no dirt in them at all. Pre-washed, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, mess of collard greens right there. We've decided that once these cook down, we're just gonna have them for dinner with those little steaks that I got. Yummy, yummy. My cucumbers are all sliced and ready to go. I've got some jars out. The collard greens are in the pot, ready for the next step. We saved the collard green ends. Um, he's gonna put a little root hormone on the bottom of them and we're gonna see if we can't get them to regrow. They're nice and healthy. So in the pot, we've got bacon, onions, garlic, and the collard greens all cut up. Fitting to put some water in there. And one bay leaf. And one bay leaf, okay. This is my biggest stock pot, it is huge. Waiting for my jars to boil. Not there yet. I don't have a lid to this canning pot. I never, I got it from a lady. I helped her clean her house, like do a spring cleaning and she gave me the pot, but it didn't have a lid. So I just use a cookie sheet. It's time to get the jars out of the boiling water and stuff them full of cucumbers. I do not can my pickles in the ball book way. I can them the way that I was taught in West Virginia by Mrs. Kathleen Sisler in the late 1980s. And she never even water bathed her jars. She would put the hot brine over the cucumbers, turn the jars upside down and leave them. I still do a water bath method. I recommend you follow whatever guidelines are safest for your family. I've got my pickles in there, ready to come up to a nice boil, and I'll probably leave those in there for about 20 minutes. That's just a straight up water bath can. And then we've got our collards. Those need to cook down for like at least the next hour or so. I think I'm gonna put my feet up, maybe have some lunch. This is the cutest thing ever, look. Look how cute that is. That's the rest of the cucumbers that didn't fit in any of the jars and the rest of the brine. So I will make that into some little refrigerator pickles for us to enjoy next week. I have eaten my lunch and it's time for these little jars of pickles to come on out of their water bath. I always like to set my jars on a towel and never set them directly on the counter because it can they can break. And I've had that happen and it's terrible when you've done all that work. And Mrs. Sisler taught me that you always put your jars to bed when you pull them out. She liked to cover hers and tuck them in. These are going to be some dill pickles, and this is a Mrs. Wages dill pickle mix that I got at Walmart. There we have it. Four jars of pickles out of the canner. They're looking pretty good. Those aren't traditional cucumbers that you would normally use for pickles, but Mr. Biggs and I decided that these would just be for us for eating, and they were super fresh, and as you can see, the skins were super thin, so we decided to just make some pickles. Not so bad. And the collards, woo, that's hot, baby. The collards are really starting to cook down. They're looking pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them about another hour and they'll be good to go. 
Thank you everybody for joining me on my Saturday. I really am excited to have all those jars of pickles and to be able to preserve our wonderful $5 vegetable haul. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you like and maybe give me a comment down below. Thank you everybody and enjoy your journey.